Hi everybody, this is Terry from Sweet Pea Papers and it's September 2021, so we must be doing our September daily. Okay, I'm following along with Miss Paint-A-Lot. The link to her YouTube channel is below and uh, you can also look it up by looking up Miss Paint-A-Lot, all one word. Um, and last January, we did a January daily and um, her book was green and it was written by Mr. Green so the book became called Mr. Green. So now this time she's got a Mr. Green but it's brown but still it's Mr. Green the sequel. Okay all I have here is Mr. Black and I'm running into some severe troubles here but because um, I'm having trouble getting him closed and we're only halfway through. So what we're gonna do today is the prompt is stickers okay and then um, every day at the end of the the day um, Miss P rolls a die and there's six designers and this time she rolled a five so the designer we're going to use is Liana Scrap and she had us use Natural World uh, the kit but um, you can use whichever kit you want you're not tied down to these designers you can use whatever designer you want um, just the prompt is stickers you can make the page any way you want this is how uh, she did it this is how I got it to work uh, once this is the third time I've tried to do this um, and believe me I'm pretty good at figuring these things out um, and when I figured out it was the paper but anyway so that's what today is I'm not trying to scare you I'm just saying and you can hopefully learn from my mistakes so this is Mr. Black we're not going to go through all of it just suffice it to say we're on page 16 okay what you're going to need is some kind of sticker now I've gotten out washi stickers um, I um, also have another thing and I'll show you that in a second Okay, you're going to need some uh, craft paper or brown cardstock or um, uh, pad, paper pad, whatever you want to use. If you're using cardstock, you're pretty much going to have to do it the way that I'm doing it because of the thickness of the paper. Okay, so you're going to need two pieces of this. You're going to need a kit, some sort of a kit. This is the uh, natural world and it's very pretty I cut the pages that um, had the birds on it there are other pages in the kit um, that we may use as cover papers decorative papers and um, those look like this they're the backing papers mostly um, and so we've got those set aside to choose from as we will okay she can't have every page be a picture otherwise there's no writing space I mean you could you could make it decorative don't get me wrong you can do whatever you like okay so we've got the kit papers then we've got the writing pages um, I chose the um, uh, one of the backing papers from the kit it has a very light pattern on it and um, I feel like you could still write on it especially because it has kind of that white wash on it okay there's a little secret thing I'm gonna try to do here if it'll work <laughs> here's your base page yes it's partially done I'll tell you why and this is the super easy part now on mine because my uh, book is um, an off size I've had to make some adjustments and um, mine is not um, or mine has to be seven and five eighths inch tall so I had to trim the paper with the height. The width is not quite long enough. So I use, uh, you know, by the time you trim it, trim the white paper off. Um, so I'm using a cream colored backing paper and I've been doing that throughout the book. Um, sometimes I, I think one page was black because of the nature of, of the image or whatever. So um, we're gonna take our backing paper and we're gonna set it to the side you're also going to need a couple other things this paper is so heavy unless you have a, a, a pretty heavy-duty 
magnet. They do make them. Um, I couldn't get one in on time. I couldn't get one in for three weeks if I ordered it. Um, I have magnets, but they're not thick enough. Or, or the pull isn't um, enough. So um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use um, a Velcro dot. Okay, so you can use one of those. Ruler, scissors, glue. That's a given. I'm going to use a white chalk pencil because it's easier to write on the um, craft paper with it and, and be able to see it. And the color ink that I'm using is Bundled Sage. Okay, so I've already inked this paper. You should ink it first because you're going to be gluing this on and you're not going to be able to ink this part if you wait. All right, this piece is simply a piece of paper. Cut it to five inches tall. Go in five inches and score it. Go in five inches and score it. So this is going to be ten. And then fold the rest from the score line over and glue it. Just like when we glue envelope stacks or glue anything else. Now, this is where my thinking cap had to come on. This paper is thick. So when you go to do what we're going to end up with is this, which something just, oh, something just fell back there and I hope it isn't anything that I need. No, I don't. Okay, good. <laughs> something just fell off my table. Um, we're going to end up with another piece put on exactly the same way right and you fold this and you fold this and then you've got the thing now miss p um in the um uk their paper is a little bit different it's just like a quarter of an inch longer or not even quite a quarter of an inch longer and it makes all the difference in the world so i worked out a way and i'm going to try to re reproduce it if you can't get it to work with the craft paper Never fear, just because um, I got it to work with a piece of typing paper on the very first try, and it's because it's thinner paper. So what you would do is just take um, a piece of kit paper and then print it on both sides um, with a cream colored uh, neutral background on the back side, like I did on this, okay? And then when you do the folds, It'll, it'll work because the paper's thinner. It'll work on your first try, I promise. If you want the craft paper and the craft paper, then um, you're gonna have to do a little bit of maneuvering, okay? So I'm gonna set that to the side and assume, assume that I can do it again. And this involves a little bit different than the way uh, Miss P had us do it. I also want to show you real quick before we go uh, on my secret weapon, which is the Botanist Sticker Anthology. This is a huge and very heavy, thick book of nothing but nature stickers. Okay, something stuck on my sticker book. Go figure. Okay, so all the stickers in here are nature stickers now you would think wow that's a great advantage but these stickers have a white border around them so if you don't mind that then this is going to be easy peasy for you you're going to have enough stickers to make your head explode if you are using a very light colored paper this is very light colored and it may not make a difference really because of the white on the page um, then I may use one of these um, I'll probably use the washi, but this is my backup super secret weapon that has all these beautiful, beautiful images. You can get this on Amazon, and I'll put the link to it below. But I've got it set to the side as my super secret weapon. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take a piece of cardstock. Let me set these over here and take a piece of cardstock and this five inches you're going to score it or score it please get that word out of my head you're going to cut it 
a little bit narrower than that so that they can fold without getting all bunched up. So you're going to take your paper and remember you want to keep the length. So you're going to cut it, go to five like the other one. Oh, my paper's a little bit curved on the ends here. Okay, just for the way it was laying for some reason. So you're going to line it up with five and then you're going to go back just a hair. Not even, not an eighth, barely a sixteenth. You're going to close it. And you're going to cut it off. Here we go. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> okay. Now the way I did it, I ended up with a tab. And I like having the tab because I've been trying to put charms on. And otherwise there's no way I could figure out where to put a charm that wasn't, you know, in the middle of the book. This way gives me a charm. Okay. So instead of a, what you end up here, which is a larger uh, flap, if you don't cut it off, or you can... Um, you can score it at 5, score it at 10, and then score it again at 10 and a half, and then you only end up with a half inch folded over. Okay? Totally up to you. So now what you want to do, and she scored a one half inch um, flap to go around here. I'm going to do a quarter of an inch because we need the extra paper and even though we have extra at the end, if you don't do it this way I've discovered it doesn't work. Okay, so you're going to score a one quarter inch or at one quarter inch from the end. And then you're not going to do anything else ever. It's done. The page is done. <laughs> no. If I seem a little subdued, it's because it's 1230. I've had two hours of sleep and I woke up aggravated because I could not get this to work. Now, I don't want you to be aggravated. Um, just use different paper. But you guys know me. I'm bound and determined. And um, I'm hoping I can make this work again. Now, the first thing you're going to do is fold this because you're going to hook it just like um, just like the first time. You're just going to you're going to hook it over the edge because you're going to want it to to telescope out like this one does. Okay. Then you're going to leave this flap though. It doesn't matter actually at this point. Um, it's easier just to do it this way. Just hook this underneath. And you can see where the problem's going to come in because of the thickness of this. Then when you go to fold it back, the thickness of this paper again, and you can't, that's why you can't just score it at five again. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do to help with this thickness problem is to take your pencil and do you see where the overlap is here? You're going to make a line. And you're going to take and you're going to open this up. And you get your scissors. And you're going to cut from here up to the score line. That way you don't have that extra thickness there. Okay, so now double check, double check that when you fold it over this way and it's even that they don't overlap. I think I'm going to take just a skosh more off. Don't worry, you've got plenty of um, paper that you're going to glue and you're a little better off having just a little bit extra then just a little bit less. Okay, so you're going to hook this over. Don't glue it, just hook it over. 
with your paper folded this way. Okay. Then close this over the top of it. Okay. Then take your bone folder because of the thickness of the paper. Don't use a pencil. Miss P uses a pencil, scores it, folds it over, or marks it, scores it, folds it over, and it works perfect. I have not been able to get it to work um, three times. So I took my bone folder because it's thicker. See, your pencil line is thin. So if you do it with your bone folder, you're already making like a score line. And then take it off. And I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, look, there's a gnat. Can you see that? <laughs> Little visitor. There's a score line right here started. So we're going to bring this over. No, we're not. We're going to bring this back up. And I actually did it with this one last time. Go figure. Let's double check. Before we score anything, let's mark it with the other bone folder. See that it comes out the same. I want to make sure it's straight. Okay. Fold this over. Take your bone folder and mark. See now this is up here. Take your bone folder and mark. In fact, this may work this way without ever putting it back on the scoreboard. And then fold it down on your score line. Wow, this worked better than the other one did. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. I'm going to use mine because I was able to, um, okay. Yeah, see, I don't have, really have enough room for a charm. Okay, so what you're going to do at this point is go, but Terry, that does not line up. And I'm going to say, I know. So what I want is a tab so that I can put a charm on it. So I'm just going to mark here where you would cut it off normally. All right, so I'm going to mark that. I'm going to take this back off and pray that it goes back together. And then take your ruler and draw a line. Well, for goodness sake. Draw a line straight across with your chalk pencil. So, because a regular pencil kind of makes an indent as well, this paper's soft. All right, then you're going to measure in an inch and a half, inch and a half, and make a mark. And then you're going to do the opposite of what we did a minute ago. Now this is only if you want a tab. If you don't want a tab, just cut this off. The whole thing, all the way across. All right, so you're just going to cut this off. And then you're left with a little tab that you can hang a charm from. Or just leave it as a tab and decorate it and use it to um, a little bit of a okay. So now you have a little bitty tab. You can just take the eraser 
and erase the chalk off and there's no indentation like there would have been from a pencil. All right, so let's double check it again. Now I had a bigger tab on my other one, so I'm gonna use my other one even though this one worked as well. Don't ask me how I ended up with a bigger one. It just, I just did. It was magic. The elves helped me out. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you can just move this out of the way. Got all your measurements. When you go to glue it on, you're gonna move it over. Because remember, your width is fine. But you just wanna get rid of that thickness. So move it over and line it up and then glue it. Now I'm gonna use my other one that worked as well. This one works, but it, I ended up with a little bit bigger tab and that's what I want, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I'll hook it over. Make sure it's straight. Get your tab out of the way. Double check where it is this way. So you want to make sure that this will fold. Fold this down, fold it over. Okay, now this is going to make this part show and not be even by having the tab. Doesn't bother me at all. The thickness of this paper is such that um, I'm willing to have what looks like a mistake. I could trim this just a little bit shorter and that would fix it. But I'm so happy that it worked and that I have a tab. I say say la vie. Okay, so now we're gonna glue this. I'm just gonna run a line of glue along this. That way I don't have to pull this ba pull this back. And then I'm going to glue it down. And this paper's thick. So by having this smaller, now see when you look at this, you go, well, a half should have worked. And that is completely true. However, I have never gotten it to work. So you may be the better man and it may work for you on the very first try. And if so, that's what I say, go for it. If it doesn't, then come back and and try notching it out to take into account for the thickness. Okay. So now we've got, and the rest is decorating. So now we've got, fold this like this, fold that like that. Okay, that's why we're gonna need a Velcro dot, otherwise it's gonna pop open. And in fact, I'm gonna use two, okay? So we've got this. I'm gonna erase my chalk mark. I didn't do it on this one. I'm not gonna ink this at all. So all we're gonna do from now on is decorate. So you're gonna have this and it's gonna open all the way out to that. This is gonna open all the way down. I can't even see it. I don't have enough room on the camera to show you. And we all breathe a sigh of relief. <sighs> Move that out of the way. And I think I wanna put my ink over here. 
I don't want to forget to do all these little squares that we're about to make. Now, I'm just going to do a couple, and then I'm going to put you on hold. Then I'm going to cut and ink all the other ones so you don't have to watch me do it, but I'm going to show you how to measure for it without just cutting out four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths squares because it just may not work. You're going to want to mark each one. So you're going to be able to get your pencil out for that, your regular pencil. Okay, so this is going to open down. So it's going to be like that. Only this is going to be open all the way. All right? All right. Oops, I got birds falling. Birds falling from the sky. Okay, so now all you're going to do is remember how to close it, which is one, two, three, four, which is not right, but I like it this way. And that's why we're going to use the dots to hold it. So, you're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay, let me do it again. You're going to go up, over, down, over. Okay, now remember you're going to have some issues with the paper folding if you get your decorated paper too close to the edge, it's going to be too thick. So keep that in mind when you're cutting your papers. Okay. So the first thing you want to do probably is the cover, which is this piece right here. Let's see if we can move everything temporarily out of the way. All right. Let me put all my crazed equipment and the second one that actually worked put it out of the way and we're going to get our kit pages out now you're going to want something pretty here uh, Miss P went for a different one here I decided to go crazy with that crazy chicken bird. And then, um, of course, there's a butterfly and another butterfly. So you know this was my paper. This 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 was Terry's paper. Okay, so now I really like this turtle, but it doesn't really scream cover. This one would be nice. It's got butterflies, it's got the bird, so let's think about that one. This one also would be nice. It's got the bird. As you can see, you're not going to be cutting. You're going to go through some kit papers. You're not going to be cutting um, I, just from the bottom up. For me, it's also because I had to cut my page shorter to make it fit in my book. So this would be nice too. With let's see, let me move this out of the way. Um, with this bird here, so let's set that over there. I'm still tending towards this one with the big yellow butterflies, and this one would be nice. I'm not sure that I want want it for my cover. It is kind of nice with this bird looking down. Okay, we're going to take just one second. Okay, so let's go through a couple more real quick. This one would be nice. This one would be real nice. Very nice. And you wouldn't have to do too much maneuvering to get the bird to fit on the page. You know what I mean? Because you're going to have a border 
this one would really work. So instead of cutting into the middle of a page, this is my front runner. I've got one more, I think. This one. And this would be pretty as well, but I don't like the white with this. So this is our winner. So now what we're going to do is you're going to try to imagine. And push that all the way over open this out if it helps, which I think I'm going to do. Move a couple things out of the way so I can move this over. <laughs> my stool keeps rolling back a little bit, so that's the noise you hear. It's me scooching my stools forward over and over and over. I'm trying to make some more room here. All right, so now we want this bird here. So let's mark the height that we want. Since we have enough room, let's kind of make sure he's centered. Let's score in a little, or mark in a little bit. I got scoring on the brain, I'm telling you right now. And then mark up a little bit. And then I'm going to bring it down and mark the width because I don't want to cut it this way and ruin a piece that I could probably use. Hmm. If we don't cut it off from this way, we're going to lose his tail. Well, let's see. Then the width is going to be from here to here. Now, the way to do this without cutting your marks off is to cut this line first. She says confidently after having so much trouble. You guys just wouldn't know or you don't want to know. And hopefully you won't know. Excuse me, having sinus trouble. See, and that saves my butterflies. Then you don't want to cut this mark, these marks off. So then do them next. Well, that's going to cut your top one off. Oh no, we're already at our width. If we cut this off, it's going to cut this one off. So Let's erase this mark. We've got extra room to move him back and forth. So now let's, um, we want this. You see, we want to move this over. Because we want to have his tail. You can kind of feel you can see where the paper is comes down so we want his tail so let's do this again We're going to cut a little off each side. Okay. 
These two thin pieces are going in my collage pile. If this is the first one that you've seen of this series, um, when I get done I make a collage. This is a 30 page book. I'm saving the scraps, off cuts, extras, whatever you'd like to call them. And at the end I'm going to make a giant collage. I'm going to try to do two manila folders opened. Or maybe do some other little fiddling around. Because if you watched me do every single one of these papers, this would be a four hour video, if not more. All right, now I don't want to cut his tail off, so I'm going to move this up. In fact, I want to center him. In fact, up a little bit more and get this, what he's standing on. We're going to get this over and pull it with our shirt cuff. I'm going to mark it here. Then I'm going to mark it here. Remember to go in just a little bit so you got your border. Then we should have our bird. Took a little finagling. It's going to do that with probably most of your pages because of the nature of this particular kit. If you're using a different kit, it might be super different and super easy for you to just, um, you know, lay the pages down and measure them. I'm trying to get these birds, so that's what's making it different. And there it is. I was say I couldn't find my mark. On your mark. Get set. Go. That was a bad joke. Bad joke number one. Okay, now we have a pretty little square with a bird in the middle. Ta-da! Okay. So we've got this here. This looks fine. Yeah, we're going to be fine. Now we're going to ink in. And then we're just going to glue him on. So you're going to have to do that. If you have this kit and you're trying to get the birds, then you're going to have to do this and you may have to print multiple copies of a page if there's something on both sides that you want to get. I know. Terry, 5 and 5 is 10. That's 11 inch piece of paper. I should be able to do it without doing all that. Well, yes, if the birds were all in the corners right where you needed them, then you are right. You should be able to do that. However, as you saw, they are not. Just work your way in from side to side, top to bottom, top to bottom, side to side, like I did. I gave myself a little extra room. This isn't a very dark color. That's why it's taken me a minute. You can use um, good old vintage photo if you like. Okay, so we're going to glue this down. Now, the other thing is, before I go any further, once you do your cover, you're going to have to take a look at this and decide what you want to be writing pages and what you want to be decorative pages. Um, I think I'm going to want, because of the way this folds out, I think I'm going to want these two to be writing pages and this bottom one here, decorative. Okay. So I'm going to put a W, writing, writing, and a D for decorative. Can't see me, but I'm writing a D for decorative. Okay. I think I'm going to leave my tab this color, though. I should have enough room to put an eyelid on there. If not, I'll just cut it off. 
okay so you're just going to keep going now with my writing pages I printed them on both sides because this is what I want to try to do I want to try and have them flip open and give you even more space I want this page to be crazy off the hook okay so I want to measure it this way because I want it to flip that way so I get my regular pencil oh let's glue him on got all excited about my double it'll give us a point of reference as well now you're gonna have to look at your that's why I'm writing in chalk as well you're gonna have to look at your um, your hole open and close there's different ways it's like a puzzle box so depending on which way you have it open there's only one way to really open and close it now you could put multiple magnets on here you could put a magnet that attaches to another magnet or that attracts to another magnet and then put another one under here that's flipped over so it attracts to this one and you could do that my brain hurts already because I've had trouble with this look at your picture here look at this picture here before you glue it down and make sure that you um, have it right side up the R squares after all okay so now he's down I have a suspicion that Miss P's paper is thinner and I'm worried about this cracking over time okay so now you cannot you're also going to have it open like this so if you have your writing page here do you want another writing page there do you see what I mean I would say hmm what would I say I would say yes for mr. black could be different for you mine's a spiral book the spiral is going to be here there's going to be hardly any way to write on that so I'm going to put writing here and decorative here now let's try it this way and see what it looks like put this down okay, we've got writing here and flip it over and I'm gonna go with writing and then you know writing and writing would be kind of neat if you wanted a lot of writing area so I'm not going to do that one yet I'm going to think about that and if you have it completely open you're going to have writing and writing decorative decorative I can live with that with it this way you've got writing and writing with it this way got writing and decorative writing and writing okay see this is going well so then I think I will go writing I think I'm gonna go decorative because decorative decorative writing writing okay so let's do um, one of the writing pages and I'll show you what I want to do what I would like to do is have the page the writing page will make the size 
and then fold it over so that it opens. I'm not sure that's going to work though because of the thickness. Maybe. No, I'm not going to be able to. It's just going to be too thick. It's just going to be too thick. So it was a good idea, but it's not going to work. It's just going to be too thick. So let's take one of our writing pages. That makes me sad. It would have been such a cool idea. If you're using um, typing paper, thickness paper, that would probably work. So you could take one of these and um, measure it this way because you're going to want to fold it shut. Measure the width. I mean, measure the length. And then measure your width. Right? And that's really going to be your fold line. And then you would fold it over and then measure your height from here with it closed and cut it at the height. Okay? Now the question is, do I want to just use this as the writing? But I really, I don't know though, is this going to make it too busy? I didn't think about that. And in my mind, it's directional. Maybe I'll do some of the writing pages with this. I'm going to put you on pause for just a second while I think about this. If you knew how short that pause was, you would be surprised. Okay, I'm going to use this side and I'll tell you why. We want to use our washi stickers. Plus, this is this did end up being too busy. This, this print is too dark. If you opened this file up in your computer and you lightened it, um, so where you could barely see this background, then it might work. Right, as it is. Um, and this is from... Um, Liana Scraps, um, that's what we're doing, right, Liana Scrap? Oh, my paper fell on the floor. Um, anyway, she has another kit that's just eco-dyed paper. Same same designer, same kit designer. Um, that's just eco-dyed paper, and it's a bunch of plain papers that have, you know, it looks like they're eco-dyed, you know, a couple have darker spots, and one has like a rosier spot. Needless to say, that's where I got this color paper. This actual um, uh, nature one does not have um, a blank paper. Note to all designers, give us a blank paper <laughs> or a cream, you know, whatever color goes with the kit. Give us one, please. I beg you. Everyone begs you. And also give us writing pages that when they're folded in half, don't turn to vertical. Give us writing pages with lines that when we fold them, go this way. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else I would like to say to the designers and not to, not to this person. She's given us a whole bunch of eco dyed paper. I just did that backwards. And I was going to be like, and. And I did. <laughs> See how that works? These squares are going to mess with me. Okay. Put this here. And then measure in and try to make it exactly the same as this one.
making sure this one is exactly where that one is before you do so. That's going to be the challenge in this, is getting everything to line up and deciding which ones you want to be writing papers and which ones you want to be um, designer papers or you know what I mean, papers with designs on them. Okay, so let's ink it. Then I'll do one more design paper. Then I'll put you on pause. And then we shall see what happens. We'll see what you do. I can't wait to see what you do. Put a link below to your Facebook page when you make this or when you make the September Daily. I will go look. I will go look and see what you did. And I will be very happy at what you did. Everyone's is going to be fabulous. Probably more fabulous than mine. <laughs> those that teach and those that do I'm just saying except for Miss P her books are amazing and I'm just kidding everyone that does this does these videos I applaud you and if you're thinking about doing this and saying okay I can make videos with the uh, while I do it. If you don't want a 20 hour video, you're going to have to do some prep work and you're going to have to be able to um, either cut to take out the long spots where you're doing the repetitive things or um, you're going to have to be able to pause your video while you work on and then come back. So to, for me to make a one and a half hour video is probably probably four hours I would have to say you could ask Miss P but I know that her and Mr. F she's got Mr. F to help her and he's a very very handy man Mr. Fixit and so even so I've heard her say about how much prep time it takes Okay, so now we've got our writing paper. Let's wait till we get them all down before we look at washi stickers. So I think, I think the ones with the white border around them would make this look less um, professional and more fun. I don't know how else to say that. Okay, so you're gonna have, you're gonna mark your writing pages and your decorative pages. Use your chalk pencil so you can see it without leaving a mark on your, well, it doesn't matter at that point. You're going to cover it with the paper, but um, I can see it better when it's with the chalk pencil. Could be my vision. So just keep going with the measuring. Do you want me to do one more decorative page? I'm trying to figure out one that I can show you without it being off the, um, here we go, without it being completely off the camera. Okay, so now this is writing and this is going to be decorative. So let's take a look at what we've got. We've got this paper, which is not going to be big enough. So we could fussy cut out these butterflies. 
or you could take a piece of this paper here and cut it to size and then cut this to go in the center as your decorative or any other paper. You're definitely going to go through more than probably two. I would say three of those writing pages you're going to need. All right, so we're going to save this, put it to the side. Now, I believe this is the last one for Liana Scrap, so you may want to put that in your collage pile. Now, do I want the flower and the butterfly? Because I don't necessarily want a bird in the center of all of them kind of like this flower and butterfly and it's in a corner it's gonna make it easy to cut out I like it and this actually almost looks more like a moth but the body's you know it's a butterfly and the wings you can tell what wings Okay, so we're going to mark the width. This one's fairly straightforward. We're going to mark the, the height. Cut this one first so you've still got your bird. Because remember, you're going to have quite a few decorative pages. You don't need them all to be screaming off the page. And I think this makes for a pretty little scene. You know how you know when it's fall in Seattle? Because it's raining. Do you know how you know when it's winter in Seattle? <laughs> because it's raining. Would you like to know how you know when it's spring in Seattle? Because it's raining. Would you like to know how you know when it's summer in Seattle? <laughs> the sun's out and it's hot. <laughs> You thought I was going to say because it's raining, right? No. We have nice summers here. It's not hot at all. We have about a week that it's warm. Out here, um, apartment buildings usually don't even have air conditioning. Houses, you know, people can decide if they want it or not. You don't really use it that much. Maybe two weeks out of the year and usually the two weeks are not all together if you know what I mean Let's see if I can kind of color up these corners just a little bit more and then keep an eye on your pages um, now because this opens this way I want to make sure that my picture is put on this way. I know that just doesn't, you would think that was obvious, but, and I'm being Captain Obvious, but um, maybe I am. Maybe I'm just telling it to myself so that I don't mess it up. Very, very possible. Okay, very possible. So let's glue this on. And then I will put you on pause and we will all have a cut fest. We're cutting, cutting, cutting little papers. If it helps you to number them, number them. I found decorative and writing worked for me. I 
I apologize if my TV's too loud. It's way in the other room, but it seems kind of loud to me. It could be because it's so late or so early. Okay. So now I got that on. So it's a writing page and another decorative page. Okay. So now this decorative page, remember, needs to be vertical this way. You know, the picture needs to go this way. Now remember, you're also um, going to have, um, when you have your book, well, I guess you'll only really be looking at it this way, because if you had it down this way, you'd have to turn your book over, but when you turn the page in a book that turns this way, then you'll be able to see, you know, this side. So keep that in mind. Keep it all in mind. Make yourself crazy. Go ahead. You see how when we add paper, it adds a little bit of weight, so that helps a little bit. But it also adds a little bit of weight, if you know what I mean. So, okay, I'm going to put you guys on hold, and we're all going to um, start making little squares and gluing them on, and then um, we'll be back in just one second. I know what I wanted to say real quick. Um... Look at this. When we flip it this way, you're going to have two decorative pages here. So you may not want to go nuts. You don't. You may not want to have a bird over a bird or whatever. So I think I'm going to um, put my turtle here because he's way up, way up. Or you could just put a decorative where it's just flowers. Okay. And then that wouldn't clash with your bird too much. Or you could just put another bird. If you don't mind that. A bird on top of a bird. So anyway, that was what I wanted to tell you to think about. And now I'm going to put you back on pause. Okay, I just wanted to show you this real quick. I had an idea. On this writing paper page, I did want to have a fold over if I could. So what I did was I was measuring for this square for the writing page and I realized I had just this little flap left so I folded it over and there's that little bit of a decorative page and it doesn't really clash with this because this is the more muted page and so I decided to fold it over as a writing area so what I'm going to do is I'm going to round the corners so you can do whatever you want on each square and around this corner okay then of course I got to re-ink this because the corners changed now I had inked it before I realized that I wanted to round it and then I'm just going to ink around the rest of it and I'm going to glue it in so continue on with your inking and gluing and cutting Okay, here's something else that I came across. I know this is going to be a little jumpy from the stopping and the starting, so um, I apologize for that, but something I came across was right here. The, um, the problem with um, cutting this to make uh, room is that it leaves a cut right here when you open it up. So I didn't think about that. So I put a piece of medical tape on the brown. But then I discovered that when you put it over, let me it shut just a little bit more. You have to be careful that you can't see it. And you are going to see it on the very bottom across here. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. Um, it's going to be a writing card. I don't really think it's going to be that noticeable. Um, <laughs> like Miss P says, it's not perfect. It's a junk journal. Um, I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. I think the reinforcement is more um, what you need. 
okay so I just wanted to show you that if I would thought of it I would have done it on the inside as well um, you know before the paper but you couldn't really do that because we built it on the paper so that is going to be a bit of a problem um, but construction wise I'm not really sure what else I could have done um, the double layer was just too thick so I think thinner paper is probably the uh, the better way to go but I'm carrying on with my decorating and um, yep so I went ahead also and I already finished this and I put a little velcro dot so there is a little clear dot here but you still have all the writing area and you just write around the dot okay so I'm gonna finish or continue on I'm gonna put you back on hold and if I come across anything else, I will let you know. Okay, we'll talk about it. Okay, I'm down to the last square, and I realized that folding mine, there's a couple different ways you can fold them. Folding mine to where the tab was on the top was the way I liked it the best. Um, uh, Miss P had those really strong magnets to hold everything together and um, I don't have that you may have that and if so um, be sure to check out her video on how she did hers with magnets um, so what I've decided to do I, at first I had started to put this picture on and then I was like oh no I need to make some way to close it and um, I thought I was going to have to put a magnet here and then make a strap and put a magnet on the back side. Let's see how far under does that go. I am going to make a strap, but instead of making the thickness from the magnet and having to cover the back side, I'm just going to make a Velcro dot. So I'm going to bring this strap around like this. Then I'm going to put my picture on. And then I'm going to decide flip it over. I'm going to make a mark. Make a mark where I want it. Okay, then I'm going to put glue on it. I was going to use a piece of the paper, but, um, oops, and put the glue on here. Don't put the glue on your tab. I'm going to accidentally glue your whole thing shut. Okay, and then fold it over adds a little bit of thickness but I don't know what else to do and make it look nice dots you're gonna have to dot it to death okay this way you only have to use one dot okay now you could do it all the way across actually if you wanted to and put a dot let's take a look at that let's put our picture on you can see it's already got glue on it because I almost put it on and then realized my predicament. Thought I might need to put something on underneath the picture. So I took it off real quick. So I have quite a bit of glue on here already. Since it was going to be the new cover, <clears throat> you know, like I said, I refolded mine. Or the order. I, I redid the order so that the tab was on the top. It looked better anyway. Then I got my butterfly picture in and it ended up on top. So that worked out fine for me. Okay. Make sure you've inked all your squares. <laughs> So now what if I put this, yeah, see I don't want to cover up the bird. So let's just go 
to here just enough to make sure we've got it secure okay so we mark that now we're going to go back and we're going to flip it over and we're going to cut this right here I'm going to use um, the paper trimmer you can't see what I'm doing but you can guess Let's see if it'll work yes barely okay so that's because I can't cut a straight line to save my life what I did was I opened it up and then I opened this up and this up and I laid it on the paper cutter and then cut this off so all I did was take my cover and fold it under now I've got two pictures together um, which I really didn't want to do I still have time to put it back gee whiz kind of like it better this way because that was the way I had originally decorated it I didn't mind these two together okay I think I am going to do it this way and I also figured out that if I put my uh, eyelet here my charm would come off the side I don't want to put it down here because I don't want it to hang down that's just too far the tab is fine but uh, yeah so we're gonna do that so let's um, ink this up because I forgot move all this stuff out of the way at least I remember oh we're not inking up this well it's a good thing I didn't really get any done okay okay now let's velcro dot this puppy let me take my two magnets put them back in here I was gonna do magnets on this and put a little decorative something on top of it um, and then I changed my mind and went with a dot dots you can always take them back off and um, you could still do the magnet you could put a magnet here well not now I'm wondering if I should try to make room for two dots I think it will All right, now we want the clear side to be here. Okay. And I'm going to put just a little drop of glue I'm not trusting these little dots. And I'm going to put them this way. Now I've got myself confused. Which side is the white side? Okay. This side is the white side, which is what I thought. All right. And we're going to put them here.
which these are I'm glad I looked at it these go this way I have no idea how they got turned around it must have been when I um took it off the sticker thing and I'm just going to put a little dot of glue in the middle of each one and then we're going to put our dots down Now all we have to do is put a sticker on. So we've got our washies. Let's get a couple. I'll probably put in more, but this video is running really long. So let's get out a couple of um, green ones, as in plants. That one's pretty. Maybe this one. Oh, this one's got flowers on it. They kind of look like that one, but no, they're pink. Anyway, let's just do this. There's this one, which is a fern. This one's nice. That one's nice. Okay. I want to look at, um... You know, we could put this one and this one on different writing ones that don't face each other. Let's try that. Now, I'm terrible at washi. I just want you to know I'm terrible at getting the sticker part off. I'll leave these out because we're definitely going to need more. Okay. I haven't had a problem with washi stickers coming off. I'm just saying. I'm having trouble finding them. All right very nice very nice it's a little crooked I'm gonna live with it okay so let's what about this right here I think that would be fine oh look it's already coming off for some unknown reason I'll take it For goodness sake. Why am I having so much trouble putting down a simple piece of washi tape? Okay. And then I'll just trim that little piece off. Or, no, I'm going to trim that little piece off. There we go. There's washi one. That is definitely a sticker. A sticker that needs a little dab of glue. That's why it was coming off the um, the back of the label. That's all. It just got fuzzies on it. There we go. Now he's happy. Okay. Then we've got this spot here let's put something here I'm just gonna put this matching one but I don't really like this one with this because it's got the blue in it so let's find another just green one. Oh, this one's nice can put it right here 
I wonder if I have, I know I have a matching one. I have this, but it kind of looks funny just by itself. Oh, what about that? Oh, now that's kind of pretty. Kind of defeats the writing purpose, but not really. Okay, so let's keep both of these out. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the process that you go through deciding with your washies what to put where. Could even do a mushroom. Doesn't really fit though. So you're just going to go through your little pile of washies that you got from AliExpress. And you're going to look for your... This one might work. you want to look for ones that don't look funny standing on their own either. Yep, we do have a matching one. So what if I put this in from here and this one in from up here? Oh, I think that would be pretty. Okay, so I'll do that. But I'm not going to do it now. We're going to end the video. We are going to put this on our backing page. Let me set these two aside. I'm going to set this one aside too because I've used the match so we might be able to match that somewhere. And temporarily I'm going to put all these washies back in my Ziploc bag. She says confidently. There's a lot. I got all of these in one package for a very 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 cheap price on AliExpress. A-L-I-E-X-P-R-E-S-S dot -S com. You have to make sure you order way ahead of time. Everything's really cheap because it comes directly from China. Sometimes uh, the U.S., but mostly from China. All right, so now let's fold him up. Fold him over. Close him up. Okay. Um, oh, I was going to do this. I'm wondering, is it going to fit? I want it over here. Could have used it just a little bit closer over there, but I'll live. If I have to, I'll put a little extra um, well, let's see, is this the color I want? No, definitely not. This was the color I had gotten out for when we were going to use our little garden fairy somewhere else. Now we're going to use this nature color. Sometimes pages just take longer, you know. I think this one, yes, would look nice. Okay, so you put that in there, you set this on eyelet, There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Then, if I'd have thought, I would have done this ahead of time. 
I really like this charm. I'll give it that. It's a little fairy. So it's our little garden fairy. Now we're going to put the ring going this way. It's very iffy. We're going to have to use this really large one. Is that one even bigger? Let's try this one. Then we're probably going to have to attach a smaller one to it. Let's take a look and see. If I had this color of these, I would use it. All I have is silver and gold. So gold it is. So let's see what happens if we put this over here. Well, I don't think that's going to work. I think that's going to put her, well, backwards first of all. But I don't think it's going to give her enough room to... Ah, I think it will. Okay. Let's get her on here. Where'd she go? Let's get her on here. We're really, really running long. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Is that going to be right? Nope. I want her here. I want this up over that. Where are my pliers? This didn't line up quite exactly. I'm going to kind of try to finesse it some. I'll come back and fix it off camera. It just didn't quite... Oh, there it goes. There it went. Okay. Now we've got our little charm hanging off the side. She is right side up, trust me. Seal it back up. Whoops. Would help if I had it closed correctly. Seal it back up. Don't worry about this later. getting this stuff out of the way because we're going to need room to work. Okay. First we want to put it on the cream paper. generous amount of glue to hold this on, especially in this corner where all the weight is. And you're going to definitely want some to counterbalance.
If I do it across the middle, then I'm not going to be able to move it around. That's me personally. I guess it didn't matter which way. It's a cream colored piece of paper. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty <laughs> happy with where it landed. Okay. So that's going to be our page. See, that's just going to be, well, it's going to be what it's going to be. It's going to be needing some glue right here. Extra. This is the weight. I guess I didn't put enough behind. Okay. Wow. Mr. Black is going to be so fat. to black out. Okay, stickers. Now we're going to glue him on. Make sure everybody fits. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about worrying about the tab because this paper is bigger than this. Let me give it some support where this weight is. Let me just glued my arm. And there it is. Page 16. Stickers. All right. I'm going to go back and put the extra washi stickers in. But for now, then uh, that's the end of this ginormous video. And I will see you next time. Miss P did this a lot quicker, I think, because she had different papers. Uh, than what I had and um, I hope you stuck it out with me till the end and got something out of this and learned how to work through adversity and come up with the page that you wanted. All right, I'll see you in the next video and uh, that'll be just a second for you and a day for me. Bye-bye.